Hey what's up guys, OSG here. First of all, I want to explain why I've been a little quiet lately. I have been taking part in the Tubers World Cup 2023, which I actually ended up winning. I was the winner in 2021, but went out in the second round last year, so I had to put the extra time in this year learning the games so I could regain my crown. That's over now, and I'm going on the content grind, so you should see plenty from OSG over the coming months. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at what I would consider to be the 10 best Cytronic games on the C64. Following my Protovision video, it was only right to do the other juggernaut of new games publishers on the C64. There are some absolute belters in here, and the number one game is one of my favourite C64 games ever. So, without more delay, let's take a look at the 10 best Commodore 64 Cytronic games in order of greatness. Kicking us off in 10th place we have Soulless. This is a super slick looking platform game where you have been turned into a beast and your soul has been locked away. Years later you are released from your tomb and you embark on a quest to reclaim your humanity. This is a bit slow to get into at first but stick with it and it gets very entertaining. Ninth place is taken by Rocky & Co. Again, a beautiful looking game, but this time it's a puzzler, where you and your two friends, Spud and Jet, have to use unique skills to solve puzzles, and ultimately uncover the legendary Golden Condor. Once you have learned each of the character's skills, this game becomes so enjoyable, and quite tricky too. The Isle of the Cursed Prophet is in 8th position. This is not really my genre, but I can still appreciate how good this adventure game is on the C64. It has huge maps and great music that will have you playing for hours to complete and resurrect your dead wife. Yeah, pretty dark storyline, but at its heart it's a love story that has a great atmosphere and overall journey experience. In 7th place we have Rocky Memphis, The Legend of Atlantis. Remember the piss poor Indiana Jones games that we got on the C64? Well this is everything that those games should have been. I actually played Shadow of a Hawks Mill before I played this game and I thought it was good but I have to say that this one is much more of a full package experience. Sixth place is taken by Pains and Aches. This is a follow up to Night and Grail, a game we will see shortly. Really there is nothing between these two games. It's a super atmospheric game with excellent music. Can be a bit slow going, but it's just so good looking that you keep playing. Night and Grail is in 5th position. Really, I've said it all in the previous game. This one just pips it for me, as it was the original, but they are both equally as good as standalone games.
In fourth place we have Joe Gun Gold Edition. So this is the enhanced version of Joe Gun with extra content. Another Indiana Jones type game where you are an archaeologist who discovers an unknown pyramid in Egypt that you suspect to be the long lost tomb of the Crocodile King. This game is filled with puzzles and traps that will test most gamers to the full. Third place is taken by Lightyear, The Lost Island. As I said earlier, adventure RPGs aren't really for me, but I have to say that this game has got me hooked in no time. I'm still playing it now and will do until I complete it. There are some slightly puzzling parts in the game where you sort of become lost, but persevere and you will make it past them. Is the ending good? I don't know. I will tell you when I get there. Hessian is in second position. From the off you can just tell that this is from the creator of Metal Warrior series. This is a brilliant game with great graphics and music and on most lists this will be top as it's an awesome run and gun adventure game on the C64 but unfortunately it's not the best by Cytronic but you will see next why it's in second place. And now, in first place we have Steel Ranger. It's not very often that I play a game that gives me the same feeling as the likes of Last Ninja 2 and Turrican 2 for the full package experience. But Steel Ranger not only does that, oh, I'm gonna say it, it actually surpasses Turrican 2 for me and takes the prize as the best run and gun action game on the C64. Don't believe me? Go and check it out. This game is special. Okay that's it for this video, thanks again to Cytronic for providing me with all their games so I could rate and make this video. I put a link to their site in the comments below. Also please let me know in the comments below if you have any Cytronic games and which are your favourites. Please remember to drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Oh and if you want to become a Patreon like these great guys going up the screen right now, get on over to my Patreon channel where you can pledge for as little as $1 that will get you perks like your name in the end credits, video requests giveaways and more in the future. Till next time this is OSG signing out.